AOP is counting on probability 11.19. Valuable treasure worth 100,000 fell out of my airplane and landed in a large swamp. If I don't find it within a day, it will sink to the bottom and never be found again. I can hire one or more helicopters to search the swamp. Each helicopter costs $1,000 to hire for a day and has a 90% chance of finding my treasure. How many helicopters should I hire? So if you hire one helicopter, there's a 0.9 chance of recovering the treasure. So the expected, the expected value is 0.9 times $100,000 because the treasure is worth this much. 0.9 is the percentage minus one times $1,000 because that's the $1,000 to hire it. So, so the expected outcome is $89,000. So if you hire two hel helicopters, then it's one minus 0 0.1 squared, which is 0 0.99 chance of recovering the treasure. So the expected value is 0 0.99 times 100,000 minus two times 1,000 because you hire two helicopters and each one is 1,000. So the expected value is 97,000. And if, you, if it's three or more helicopters, the expected gain is less than 100,000 100, minus 3,000, which is 97,000, because $3,000 for each helicopter, because it's at least $3,000 for each helicopter, and that's already less than 97,000, and it's never a 100% chance of recovering the treasure. So the best, the, the best way is to hire two helicopters. AOPS counting and probability 11.20. Caitlin and Olivia are playing a game. Caitlin starts with a pile of 1,000 pennies and Olivia starts with a pile of 500 pennies. On each turn, one of them flips a quarter. If the quarter comes up heads, then Caitlin gives Olivia a penny. If the quarter comes up tails, Olivia gives Caitlin a penny. The game ends when one of them runs out of pennies. It will probably take a while. What is the probability that Caitlin wins? So let the probability that Caitlin wins be P and the probability that Olivia wins be 1 minus P. So the expected coins for Caitlin at the end is 1,500 times P plus 0 times 1 minus P because P is the probability of Caitlin winning and 1 minus P is the probability of Olivia winning. In total, there's 1,500 coins. So then the expected coins would be 1,500 P. So since it's a fair quarter, that means the chances of Caitlin winning and losing is 1 over 2. So her expected coins is always 1,000 because she starts off with 1,000. So that means 1,500 P, which is the expected coins, is equal to 1,000. So P is equal to 2 over 3, which means Caitlin has a probability, has a 2 over 3 probability of winning.